Greetings to all. A warm welcome to all of you. I invite you to come with me after maybe a long waiting time because things happened in between and I want to start a new refreshed broadcast and find you a place of rest in Jesus where we ended in the last we now going to go together in another meditation and study time this is your pastor Yeti so for this day it is rest in the wounds of Jesus I invite you all you're very much welcome to find your permanent place of rest in Jesus you must always know him as the one who was crucified for you and the one with whom you have been crucified consider the following verses and maybe you can write them down it is from galatians chapter 2 verse 20 and romans 6 verse 5 i have been crucified with christ it is no longer i who live but christ lives in me we have been united together in the likeness of his death your place of rest is in christ the crucified one you have been united with him and that means you share his death with him you have a share in his death and in everything it means release from the power of sin a complete break with the ways of the world the end of your old self This truth will energize and renew you every day. It will provide a steady flow of new life that fuels your spiritual growth. The verse you just heard from Romans 6 verse 5 tells you that you have been united with Christ in the likeness of his death. And this language calls to mind the image of a branch grafted onto a tree. We have already considered the idea of grafting, but let's look at another aspect aspect of it. There is a lesson for us in how this grafting comes to pass. Before such grafting can happen, a wound must be made in the tree. Its inner life must be laid bare. The new branch must then remain fixed in the place of that wound. If it does so, it will share in the life of the tree and become part of that same tree. So it is with you. The cross is that place where Christ was wounded and laid bare. In his wounds you have a permanent place of rest, a constant source of life. And fix yourself firmly into the wounds of Jesus and you will always be at rest. When a branch is crafted onto a tree, that branch is also wounded. There can be no other way. It must be removed from its original place and that requires wounding. Your place in Christ now. Formally, you identified yourself according to your place in this old world. And now, you have been uprooted from that place. To put it more accurately, You have died to this world and to your comfortable place in it, comfortable place in it. That death involves pain and suffering, and there can be no other way. But now, all the suffering you experience is shared with Jesus. 
He is your new home. In the world, your sufferings were yours alone. In Christ, they are experienced in fellowship with Him. This fellowship brings you even ever closer to Him and to the life that He shares with you. To abide in the sufferings of Christ is to adopt the same attitude that He had toward those sufferings. It is to follow Him in His reverence for the will of God. His determination to obey and His confidence in the final outcome. Conformity to Christ's death means conformity to the spirit in which He died that death. You were destined to die We are all destined to die. It is the curse of sin over humanity. And Jesus took over humanity and met us there in the place of the curse. And at the cross, he took the curse upon himself and turned the place of the curse into a place of blessing. Christ was troubled so that you could be at rest. The marks of his tribulation have become signs to guide you to your true home. Rest in the wounds of Jesus. To reach you, Jesus had to go to the cross. If you want to be found in him and to rest in him, you cannot avoid the cross. You cannot forget, you cannot forget it or neglect it and find your place of rest at the cross. The cross of Christ has marked you as His. You see something in it that the world cannot see. It has said something that you, that the world cannot say. You have heard and believed and are rest. Being marked by the cross means suffering and self-denial. These things take nothing away from your rest in Jesus. On the contrary, they are an integral part of that rest. We will have more to say about this later. Today, simply remember that the suffering has provided a refuge for you in this world. His wounds have become your place of rest. My beautiful ones. What Jesus did was dying for you to bring you in that rest. And I can pretty much understand that it's not always easy to understand the meaning of the cross I encourage you to study the meaning of what happened when Jesus accepted and went to the cross for the world for you and me Read Isaiah 53. Read verses from the New Testament and allow yourself to open yourself in the full meaning because the price is paid for you and me. May the Holy Spirit guide you and bless you and comfort you and peace be with you this is your Pastor Yadi bye